What's going on, nerds? It's your boy, Spina Dude, and we're at the North Carolina Museum of Natural History today, where we're going to check out the dueling dinos, as well as one of my favorite dinosaurs, Acrocanthosaurus. Let's go get it. All right, so we have just made it to the dinosaur hall, and we are greeted with, of course, the classic Tyrannosaurus Rex right here. This is a cast, so I can do that. And we're about to go into the rest of the dinosaur hall. So let's go. This is Prestosuchus right here. Well, I've already seen one of these at the American Museum of Natural History, but their heads are awesome. I don't know what else to say about them. That's so true. So true, right? We have a Rudiodon jaw down here as well. I don't know much about them other than they look cool. We have an Ichthyosaur up there. I wish they told us which one. I'm not sure which one. Aiden, tell me which one. He knows a lot about Ichthyosaurus. I could take that guy. Right there. You could take that guy? Yeah, just put his neck in a knot. I think that's a Diplodocus, it's 90 feet long. <laughs> and actually here's the femur of Diplodocus right here. This is just one of the leg bones. That's almost as tall as me. Pretty crazy. Okay, I'm going to hazard a guess. I didn't know they had this. Is this Appalachiosaurus or Despletosaurus? It's an Albertosaurus, I'm an idiot. Skull doesn't look like an Albertosaurus, but okay. I'm actually gonna be reviewing a model of one of these coming up soon, but it's cool and it is, yes, a Montosaurus. Okay, sick. Look at the babies, that's so cute. He's so handsome. This is the one I felt like you would like. This is Pachycephalosaurus. These guys were literally designed to slam their heads against anything, as you can probably tell. The way their neck connects to the bottom of their skull makes it so when they lean their head downwards, it reinforces it with their entire spine so they can just ram into anything. And the bone on top of their head is 10 inches thick. <laughs> I love him. He's just a warty guy. He's just a warty guy. Exactly. He's awesome. I love those guys. For real? What? That's him for real, yeah. It's gorgeous. <laughs> what is this? Willow. Oh, it's a Thessalosaur. So we actually found a, um, a fossilized leg bone of a Thessalosaurus, I think just last year or the year before. Um, that was completely mummified with like all of the skin and bones on it and everything. So we can see all the scalation on it. What, this is cool, what the heck? Okay, I wasn't expecting this. So I've never heard of this before, Ziggoriza, but this is an ancient whale and you can actually see he still has his back limbs. Look at the puffer fish. <laughs> That's oh, and speaking of giant sloths, Seth, this is a giant ground sloth. This is what I was telling you about. That's a sloth? That's a sloth. Yeah, you know, I've actually never seen one of these in person and it's so much bigger than I thought. That's huge. Uh huh, there's a saber toothed cat. Here we are. All right, I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna go over here first. This is what I came to the museum for. I was so excited about This is Acrocanthosaurus adocensis. That is a horrible piece of art. That's not how it looks like. That's really bad. He looks so devious. Actually, all of these art pieces of them are is pretty poorly rendered. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
it's warm in here. That's actually a better art piece. That's more of what it looked like <laughs> in person. Oh, I don't know how hunchback mm -hmm. he is. Yeah. And props to the artist for not, so if you notice in like Jurassic Park, I know a lot of my viewers already know this, but I'm guiding my friends through all this today too. So in Jurassic Park, the dinosaurs have what we call bunny hand syndrome with the palms face down. They couldn't do that. Their hands were always clapping like this. So their hands were facing together constantly. And the skeleton also shows that. So Acrocanthosaurus actually translates to high-spined lizard, which you can see why. You see like all of his vertebrae are sticking straight up. And those are thought to be muscle attachments. And for a while, it was hypothesized, hence the display over here that these guys would have hunted daddy long necks. <laughs> like as you see. And I think this one is supposed to represent Paluxysaurus. No, Plur Pleurocelis, I've never heard of that before. Whatever. Acrocanthosaurus and other relatives of it, its teeth are really thin and kind of blade and knife-like. But if you looked at T-Rex, which I should have pointed out when we saw the skull back there, they're like, they're more cone-shaped and really blunt. T-Rex was made to literally crush bone, and these guys were made to just slice through flesh and cause damage through bleed, which is shown on that guy's poor thigh over there, so. Also, I didn't even notice the pterosaurs. A quick interjection to thank all of my channel members, especially Spino Chads, Raphael Tree Kangaroo, and a trash bug. If you want to become a member, click the big link down below. Hey fellas, Spino Dude from the future here. Because I was too much of a scaredy cat to film in front of all the people inside the special dueling dinosaurs exhibit. But the exhibit was really cool. There's a little intro sequence here, and you'll see the footage in the background of uh, you get to design your own Triceratops. You had to choose the body colors, like different camouflage, different display colors for the frill, and even different sort of uh, defenses that you want to put on the head or the body and such, like quills or extra spines or a throat pouch or whatever. It was really cool and everything was based off of modern animals. Then uh, as you walk in, you get a little presentation uh, for each party that moves through the exhibit, which is, had this really cool like semi 3D projected uh, presentation showing off like what the, the fossil was, what the dueling dinosaurs were, and uh, the research that they're gonna be putting into it. It was very fascinating. And uh, it was super exciting because I had no idea going into this exhibit that the exhibit was going to be them literally working on the fossils. And it was amazing just getting to talk to a couple of the researchers on the project and you know seeing where they're at with everything. Um, I believe just the day we were there, the day before, they just removed the um, the T-Rex skull from one of the massive blocks, which was really cool. And it, it was just awesome being in that environment. I really, really appreciated it. I also got to hold my first ever Triceratops horn, which is cool. They had those out. And then bracketing the exhibit, we had uh, just a little section about paleontology, and there was this cool Nothronychus skeleton that was... Uh, I was just sitting there, he's squatting. But yes, the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences was absolutely lovely. I had a wonderful time. And I thought showing you guys a little compilation of what I experienced would be fun. Before you go, I have a personal, personalized message, personalized to you specifically. There are approximately two different kinds of people in this world. Those who have subscribed to Spino Dude Reviews and Cringe Lords. Which one are you?